What is up guys, Major Magpie and welcome back to City Skylines. This is our city of New Mag City and uh, last episode we finished off by doing the harbour. Uh, and it's coming along nicely. Um, it's far from done. We've probably only done part one. Uh, I do have some more much bigger plans uh, for this. If you take a look at how the water is behaving in and around here, um, I don't know, it seems to treat this pulpit like a river. The water runs in, finds a dead end, rolls back out again. But if I put the signs on as well, it's been flooding the land. It's proven us wrong now, it's not doing it. But yeah, basically what I want to try and do is slow the water down that's coming into here. So all the water coming down the edge here seems to be fizzing around and into here. And I want to change that by probably just putting a barrier around both sides of our um, harbour, but I am going to save that for a time lapse bit because I know for a fine fact it's going to be fiddly, yeah, so we'll try like that, there you can see the water now is starting to spill out into the city, or into this little town area here, and it's not really ideal, it's not good, so yeah, I will come up with a fix for that, but to start this episode, I want to go ahead and focus on this little bit here, I want to start creating a town in and around here, basically I want to go ahead and flatten all of this and put a little key along here. This gives me um, the starting point to start putting in housing. We've got quite a nice demand for um, housing and office stroke industry and a little bit for commerce. But yeah, I would like to go and put some housing in and around here. So we are gonna start with shaping this. Uh, and I'm paused time, I wanna leave it paused while we grab a height for here. Something like that. I just want to run it pretty straight. I'm not too bothered about levelness. So I'm just going to do it randomly like this to create a shape. And oh, right. Run that around. Probably about there for now. Yeah. Right, what I'm going to go ahead and do is grab our key link, which is in this menu, I think. A little key side bit again, so, yep, that bit there. Uh, and I want to put a straight line through here, if it'll let us. Which it will not. So, let's... Um, just take away a few of these divots. Because this will be all, all that's stopping it is the little holes, the little potholes, if you like. Alright, let's try that. Yeah, stop menu. And it still doesn't want to work. Right guys, I figured out why it wouldn't let me put that in, and it was simply because although we couldn't see the water, the game thought the water was still there, so yeah, I've allowed time to play now and the water has fettled itself and sorted itself out, so we are now going to go and put our key link bit in. That's this bit here, we want it straight, and we're going to run it from out there all the way through about here. Boom. A bit further. And I'm going to stop there for now because, like I say, I do want to expand our hall of it and that will include this wall here. Um, okay, right, let's just grab our smooth tool. Just quickly play time. Um, and I'm just, I'm just tidy up this edge bit here. There we go. And that will go ahead and sort itself out now. Let's grab our smooth tool again and increase the size of it. And we'll smooth all of this out here. Yeah. Um, I'm going to remove this road. Probably back to about there. All the way around here. Pause time again, grab 
need that height there. Now we'll just bring that around. Again, a little bit raggedy. I'm not too bothered about making the whole lot the same height, just something along them lines. There we go. Smooth tool. Just a smooth one of that. And that goes for that bit there as well. There we go, that looks much better. Now I'll go ahead and connect that road back up. We wanted the four lane. We're going to go up the Grass Central Reservation. I'm going to run a straight road off the runabout first, up to uh, there. And then we'll get our freeform tool and we'll connect it up to our city road. Over there, over there, over there. There we go. Right now, what I want to go ahead and do is play time. We're going to get this water to shift. I would like to create a town here, but I think the water being kind of on here is going to be a little bit of a hindrance. So we'll come back to that. I'm just going to drop onto our little harbour area and we're going to put a few props in here. And um, let's go and grab. A couple of cranes, a couple of cargo cranes. Yeah, so not being in, no, not being in parks. We'll get there eventually. All right, something along the lines of this. Port crane prop here. I'll just turn the prop anarchy on so we can place on top of other props. Right, I would like to drop this crane onto this one here. So we just spin that round. About there. Boom. And if we can get an empty crane, so one with no um, cargo on the crane bit at the end. Um, I'm thinking maybe just put it straddling the road like that. Mm, I think. Yeah. Our hall is not big enough to... Oh, wait, maybe we get this one in. Oh, it does disappear onto the ground. No, you know what it is? We're going to go with this one. And I'm going to put this one over... One of these over here. And then one straddling the road, I think. If I don't like it, I'm always taking it away. Uh, okay, one like that. Uh, I will put some more other bits and pieces in here as well, like as we go. Like I say, I've got a lot more expanding of this harbour to do. I wasn't originally going to have it so big, but I'm getting carried away with um, my creative flow, let's say. And yeah, I've had a good idea that I want to do, and, and really just want to do it, so yeah, it's going to happen. Okay, uh, got any other immediate cargo stuff? Uh, yeah, cargo. Doesn't look like we oh no we have we've got some big old containers here. Oh, a few of these in, in and around here I think. Something like that. Uh, something like that, right. I'm just gonna leave off with this for now guys. Um I will add a lot more to it, but yeah, it's looking pretty cool. Let's stick a board in actually. A boat. Uh, we've got a cargo ship here. Let's put this guy probably on the front. Oh, there. Beautiful. Um, we might have another cargo ship. Here we have got this one here. Container ship. Right, just that one. There. Beautiful, that looks cool. Yeah. Right, um, yeah. I don't want to go to add fire stations and police stations and hospital care and everything else in here. Before another, wait, probably the end of the episode actually, we could maybe go ahead and do that. 
Um, one thing I just want to talk about, guys, is performance. You'll notice performance is greatly improved. <laughs> um, and there hasn't even been a patch for the game. Basically, I think it was down to uh, uh, prop um, mods clashing. Uh, I uninstalled Prop Anarchy and reinstalled it. It's now at the bottom of the pecking order. And performance is just so much better. Not only that, but you remember we were having issues with the traffic lights not rendering out properly and just being white blobs. No such luck now. Everything is perfecto. So we can actually go ahead and use traffic lights again without them being an ISO. Not that we tend to use traffic lights, but you know, it's nice to have the option. Um, water as well. We had issues with water in the last episode. Basically, managed to dry the entire riverbed. Notice it's all flowing beautifully, nicely, and it's actually higher than it was before, which is what we were going for. We wanted a faster flow, which we have achieved. So we're nicely, nice and quick through here now, and yeah, slightly higher than it was, which is good. So I'll have to go ahead and pick that road up. Yeah, it's looking pretty cool. Um, what else have we done? We've done the park. I've started on yeah the park beside our World Trade Center. We now have uh, tennis courts. We have a red tennis court. We have multiple tennis courts there, uh, and a fireside soccer field or football pitch. Uh, I do want to go ahead and put a fountain in here. Some trees, maybe some little park in there, a few benches, seating placements and whatnot. But yeah, I'll have to search for props to get things for that. Yeah, I suppose we could go ahead and put in some unique buildings now. I think after this episode, guys, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna finish off the park, probably do some more props on the harbour, and I would like to put some trees alongside our highway here and fill this out because it's looking a little bit bald but it's starting to hide away in between the skyscrapers so get that completed so to speak and um, but yeah right unique buildings we are going to go with two level zero things this one here the main category and our first one up is going to be this beast here ocean tower two in case you count the numbers and I'm I'm gonna put that in and around here somewhere. I think probably this side of the freeway, actually, or highway. And uh, maybe he's there. Boom. Let's have a look at this. It's not too so bad, actually. It's quite nice. Actually, yeah, I really like that. The balcony thing's going on. That looks pretty cool. Right, okay. So we've done that. Next one up again was a level zero and it was this one here, the JP Morgan building. Uh, this one is going to go probably about there. Just fill up that nice little space there. Oh, it's got a beautiful little water fountain. Yeah, it's not the tallest building but it, it sits in there nicely. Which is beautiful. Cool. Uh, next up is in our little pyramid thingy here, the little landmarks menu, and that's this wonderful thing here, the Columbia Center from Seattle, Seattle's tallest skyscraper. It's not going to be our tallest skyscraper, but it's going to be a pretty nice one. Uh, I'm thinking in this little part here, probably about there, 880,000, money is no object for us. That looks pretty nice. Wow, I think we have used this before in uh, our city of Metropolis. That's pretty nice. Yeah, I do like that. Um, anyways, moving on, we've got one more build that I would like to put in in this episode, guys, and this is the Toronto Exchange Centre. Yeah, I'm just going to go and grab this. This is a level 5 building. And it is this wonderful thing here. An office tower home to the Stock Exchange located in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Okay. Where do we want to place this? I'm thinking maybe he's... Can I get it in there? Not quite. It's too wide to go there as well. Um. 
Yeah, let's put it there. What I'm going to go and do quickly, guys, is just pop in a multi story car park. So something like that. Probably right next door to that beast in the Ocean Tower. and out of it's called. It's alright, it's quite nice. Yeah, I do want to go and start kitting this out. Um, I think that's all for this episode, guys. What I want to go ahead and do, actually, before we do go ahead and leave, um, districts. We talked a little while ago about um, certain themes in our districts. Now, I've gone ahead and created some themes, or downloaded some themes rather than create them because it's a little bit more time consuming by sitting and creating them so we've gone with the downloaded option and I want to go ahead and basically try and get one of these themes going so at least hopefully come the next episode we'll be able to check it out and see what it looks like so I am gonna we'll do it we'll do a trial plot first on this area here so I'll probably have to create a new district for that so I'm gonna go Something along. Actually, let's just remove that from there. Let's put this back if this doesn't work. Or extend it. Um, right. Let's create a district then. In there. Down there. Down there. And there. Right. Now, we're just going to leave it named Walnut Square for the time being, for talking sake. So, we're going to go and make it a New York theme. Time save some of these start changing. <laughs> and nothing happened. Beautiful. Right, okay. I'll leave that. We'll keep an eye on it. Probably check in on it on the next episode and see how it looks. But um, yeah, guys, I think that is us done. I'm gonna go ahead and start doing something with this area here. I would like to create a little town. Yeah, like I say, put in some fire services since we look like we need them. Incompetence, yeah, you know. Can't even light his cigarette for up new from burning his building down. Where's your fool? Uh, but yeah, right. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching. And see you in the next one.